Well, 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 good evening folks, how you all doing? Uh, welcome to episode 5 in Ox. So, I wonder if I couldn't see anything, I had my specs on, I can't see the camera, I don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> see, it's a bloody clusterfuck already. <laughs> welcome, welcome to episode 5 of Cooking Up the Blues uh, series. And <laughs> looking on here, hello Karen Peterman, how you doing? Gordon Angel's watching, Ivor Corbally, Adrian Thomas. Hi Seppo in uh, Finland or Estonia, I don't know where you are. Brad, across there in the USA, Drew Little John. Who else? Dorothy Mullen, hi Dorothy and Billy, enjoyed Bill's live stream last night, it was awesome, back on again next Sunday night. And uh, Karen's excited for my breakfast recipes. <laughs> so am I. Hi Fidel Rai. Hello Adrian. So anyway, there we go. Thanks for tuning in. This week we have got, as I mentioned, a breakfast theme going on. Um, but first of all, we're going to play a tune. I've got a cable coming out somewhere down here, so I'll probably pull everything apart. <laughs> it's funny, I thought I had hours to set this up tonight, and uh, it was just disaster. Um, anyway, let's hope this isn't disaster. Say hello to the signature guitar. Most of you have seen this guitar before. I'm going to play a song now called, once I get myself untangled from everything, I've got a cable attached to me, I don't think I'm even actually using that microphone. <laughs> this is a Ravi Burns poem that I got asked to, uh, to put to music a few years ago, well actually more than a few years ago, it was about 12 or 13 years ago, for uh, the year of homecoming I was doing a documentary for BBC Radio Scotland and they wanted me to take Parcel of Rogues and turn it into a Dave Arcari song and uh, there was a whole load of other stuff and interviews and things involved but um, anyway it goes like this <laughs> Burns poem. Oh look, my, my necklace has fallen off. <laughs> Lucky it's got a magnet on it and it's stuck to the guitar. Anyway, I won't be needing that. So there we go, that was Parcel of Rogues. That's a Rabbi Burns poem that um, 
I put to music for a documentary about 12, 13 years ago for the BBC. Anyway, let's see who's who's all logging in. Hello again, Drew. Good acoustics for the kitchen. Stephen Warren, hello. Stiggleman, Dan, Michael Ladano, Scott, hello, hello. Thanks, Karen, sounding okay. David Scullion, nice to see you all. Who else is in here? Andrew Kameen, hello, Andrew. Nice to see some local people on here. Kirsty Watt, John Tate, hello, John. How's it going down there in the north of England? Um, uh, the first recipe this week, or should I say the first two recipes, use the trusty instant pot. <laughs> I think the only place you can get them in the UK at the moment is in Costco. And the last time I was in, they had a special offer on them, so don't miss out. And uh, so anyway, like a lot of the recipes, uh, I discover or taste something new that I like or I really like, and then I feel compelled to try making it myself, try making my own version, which can sometimes end a little bit in tears. Uh, but anyway, this is my version of uh, Starbucks, Starbucks in the USA anyway. I'm not sure if they do it here, sous vide egg bites, but without the sous vide bit. And I'm hoping, against all odds, that this is going to work this week. And believe it or not, I think it is. We're going to do two kinds of egg bites, actually. The first is cheese and chorizo with spring onion. Finely chopped spring onion. Then break four eggs. And, well, just chuck them in the blender. Along with a couple of tablespoons of cottage cheese. This is important. Uh, I don't know why the cottage cheese is important, but it is. And, uh, well, let's just put in another, another little bit for some, some good measure. And then a cup of grated cheddar cheese. And give it some salt and pepper once the cheese is in. But it's proving a little bit stubborn here. Come on, cheese. In you go. Sticky cheese. <laughs> Here we go with the salt and pepper. And uh, salt and pepper is quite important. I often forget about this until Margaret reminds me. And then, uh, what else is happening? Oh, yeah, well, it's to combine it with this. You've got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to absolutely pulverise it or heat it up or anything weird in the blender and then add in some finely chopped spring onions the ones we did right at the beginning and chop up some dry cured chorizo not not the cooking kind this a dried charcuterie variety and then uh, use the blender to mix it all through Be careful it's not too much really just to get it to get it mixed through a bit so it's uh, it's not really sitting at the top of the mixture. If you do it too much, it all just becomes a whole big quagmire of goo, and you don't want that. <laughs> I got this silicon mould thing from Amazon for about a fiver. Uh, and they pour the mixture in, and I kind of try and do it in stages to make sure each compartment gets its share of bits, and they don't all plop into the last couple. Then cover it up. You can use tin foil, or if your mould comes with a lid, use that. Then a, a cup of water um, into the instant pot and lower the mould uh, in using the trivet that comes with the instant pot. Close it all up and steam for 10 minutes. And then let most of the pressure release naturally for another 10 minutes. Uh, so it's, it's actually stopped 10 minutes on steam and then 10 minutes Using pressure, then open the valve, release any remaining pressure, open it up, lift the mould out, the silicon mould, not the fusty mould, and <laughs> yeah, mould's a funny word, I think I've spelt it wrongly <laughs> if I've written it down, and uh, turn the egg bites onto a plate to cool a little. These ones, uh, well they maybe cracked a little on the way out because I was, as usual, a little bit, a little bit too impatient. Uh, with it all and uh, <laughs> there we go so that's that's these egg bites now let's have a wee look here and see I've got, I've got to, be to be careful, careful here, here. <laughs> that we don't get that horrible echo thing that we got last week I think I've maybe managed to uh, 
to avoid it this time by pressing the right buttons at the right time. Let's have a weird look. Anybody else still watching? Oh, hello, Leslie McLean. Been a while. A quagmire of goo, Karen. A quagmire of goo, actually. Might, might be quite tasty. We should have a recipe. At the end at the end of the Cooking Up the Blue series, we'll have a special recipe called a quagmire of goo. Hello, Jillian. And Stephen Flanagan. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, oh, yeah. I think... Uh, who else is watching in here? Oh, all going smoothly. So, well, it's kind of going... Sort of smoothly, Adrian. I'm not sure. Ivor Johnson, how are you doing? Hope you're still doing good PA stuff out there, Ivor. It's been a long, long time since we're in Curly Lloyd's. You were doing sound and I was judging Battle of the Bands for the personal personal advertiser. They are great, Bill. You would like them. Next time you're here, we'll make egg bites. Uh, I think. Will we? Yeah. Anyway, man, these are really, really tasty. And everyone that's tasted them loves them. Except Margaret. Don't know what the problem is. Margaret doesn't like my fucking egg bites. So before I show you another great version of these, I'm going to play another song. And now before I play it, I'm going to have to tell you that this is neither a pro nor anti-Brexit song. It's more an observation of the political clusterfuck around the whole goddamn thing. And I suppose I do kind of indicate my 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 true feelings in there a little bit. So uh, we'll see what happens when I try this other guitar. And I'm still attached by wires, but no longer attached by a necklace. I'm having to wear a bonnet this week because my, my lockdown hair is completely and utterly out of control. Hello, Barbara Fergus, how you doing? What are we playing here? We're playing, if I can get my... The microphone's clipped on under my beard. <laughs> or it was, I don't know if it's still there. <laughs> anyway, let's go, this is breakfast, this is breakfast blues. I make this joke every time because sometimes I get excited and call Brexit blues, breakfast blues, and there couldn't really be much more of an appropriate time for me to get it all fucked and screwed up. So this is not breakfast blues, but Brexit blues. Time 
never seen things go so slow. Masquerading this week as Breakfast Blues. <laughs> I noticed earlier on that our friends Bill and Dorothy from Florida are watching. We watch Bill's live stream every, every Sunday night, 9pm UK time, God knows what time it is, wherever you're watching, but uh, it's definitely worth a look. Hi Scott Mithin, how you doing? Who else is in here? Bob Wrinklybottom, my chit chat stuck. <laughs> That's a song, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Music News, Colin Keith, Colin, Colin Gibson. Hello, Colin, how you doing? And Chaz, Jerry Walder, Brian Leeson, Jackie Thiel, you'll stay too. Thank you. Um, hi, Nick Lyon, how you doing? And Pete, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time camping up there on that North 500. And there's Melanie making something Margaret doesn't like. Massive clusterfuck. <laughs> yes! Margaret doesn't like, oh dear me, Brad. Yes, they, they are delicious, right? Where did we get to, actually? What are we doing? Ah, we're going to do some more egg bites. <laughs> um, this is another bit of egg bites. So finally chop two or three sun-dried tomatoes and chop or crumble half a block of feta or so, depending on what you like. Like the last time, break four eggs and stick them in the blender. And add a couple of tablespoons of cottage cheese. Maybe some extra. A little bit of extra cheese never goes wrong. And then, uh, then get the feta in there too. And get a little blender and give it another blend. Well, the first blend for this one. Blend it until it's smooth. And kind of do this in pulses because our blender can sometimes get hot and it seems like it's half cooking stuff. <laughs> then you can add some pepper. You don't need to add any salt because the fat is salty enough. Put in salt, it becomes way salty and some freshly chopped basil. And then the sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, there is a sponge and blend it a little bit uh, carefully. Again, just to mix, not to pulverize, just to get bits broken down a little bit through the mixture. Then pour it into the silicon mold. Spreading it out a bit, but, uh, uh oh, looks like this last one's a wee bit short. <laughs> Never mind, I'll eat that one. I'll eat that one as soon as it comes out. Close them all up, then a cup of water into the instant pot again. Uh, lower the, the mould in. And steam it on high. For, you got it, 10 minutes. Let the pressure release naturally after, after it's done for another 10 minutes. Then open the vent, let the rest of the pressure out. And I have to say, when you open this up, pull these puppies out on the trivet carefully. They're really, really hot, by the way, so be careful with the steam. Open them up. These ones are looking pretty good. Turn them out onto a plate and then let them cool for a few minutes before tucking in. It's as simple as that. I can't, I can't decide, decide which, which is easier to prepare. prepare. <laughs> I think the fate on sun dried tomato. Uh, oh, maybe it's just a little bit. I don't know. know. Anyway, anyway, before, before we, we can carry, carry on, on, a couple of bits of, bits of, news, of news for you. Yeah. First, First, good, good news, news on the students' front. front. Uh, both, both the red, red guitar and, and the beard design are back in stock today. This evening, we completely restocked. We're going to have to be quick though, because we're going to sell out fast again. 
and uh, the, 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 the echo. Oh, echo. Echo, echo, echo Margaret, Margaret tells me there's an echo. See, I've been too smart. Anyway, just in case the echo <laughs> screwed any of that up and you couldn't hear. The good news is on the hoots, snoods, the hoots, the snoods. Both the red guitar and the beer ones that are back in stock uh, today. And But you're going to have to be quick because they do sell out really, really quickly. And also anyone that's back ordered since they sold out, your orders will be going out tomorrow morning, first class post. So they should be with you very, very soon. And also last week, I uh, mentioned the idea of doing some stuff on Zoom. Well, there's going to be a couple of exclusive intimate Zoom shows on Monday, the 19th of October. I'm trying to stick to the Monday night thing. So after uh, Cooking Up the Blues is finished, we're going to do on one, one evening a couple of very exclusive intimate Zoom shows. Uh, one at 8 p.m. and one at 10 p.m. And they're just going to have 20 places in each because I want to try and make it a little kind of community thing and now, have, have some fun and actually be able to interact and speak to people properly instead of just missing comments that are going past. Um, but there'll be just 20 places or screens for virtual attendees. And see my Facebook page or my website for info on that. Um, I, I'm actually quite excited about it. I think it's going to be quite good fun doing that. And also to get the heads up on any of that stuff uh, like that or, or in the future, join my emailing list. If you're not on my email list, please join my email list. I generally just put out one email a month on the first of the month. Sometimes if something comes up mid-month, I'll put out a wee, a wee two or three liner news. But there's generally one email a month at the beginning of the month. And you can do that at www.davidcarry.com. And if you're not already on my mailing list, because the people on my mailing list have already had this offer, if you're not already on my mailing list and you join up, you'll get 10% discount on your next order at the online store. So if you're not on my mailing list, and particularly if you want to order snoods or a devil's left hand capo or some vinyl or t-shirts or whatever, you can get 10% off the lot. So you can do a big, huge order. <laughs> get 10% off. Anyway, back to the grub. We're keeping on the breakfast theme, I think. Yes, we are keeping on the breakfast theme. I'm just making sure that we kind of queued up a little bit here and don't give you more egg bites. We've had enough egg bites for one day. Uh, so we're keeping with the breakfast theme. Margaret and I both really like McDonald's breakfasts. But we're not big fans of McDonald's, really. So I decided to make my own healthy, fresh version of one of our favourites. Breakfast patties. And we make them with pork and turkey thigh mince. And the secret ingredient is rubbed sage. Put two teaspoonfuls in a bowl and add a teaspoon of salt and the same of white pepper. quarter teaspoon of onion powder and then same chilli powder and then an eighth of a teaspoon of dried thyme another secret ingredient give it all a good mix once you've given it a good combine it all Add in 500 grams of turkey thigh mince. Oh, I think this is maybe still a little bit frozen in the middle. <laughs> and the same, the same, if you can get the packet open, the same quantity of pork mince. It's that combination of turkey thigh mince and pork, along with the sage and the other stuff that, that really kind of makes these uh, pop. <laughs> Mix it all thoroughly and then weigh the mixture out into about 60 gram portions. Around 60 grams each. I have to be pedantic about it, but it'll make about 15 patties. And then I use a burger press because they turn out quite thin and you want them an even thickness. But otherwise, they, they cook through in parts and not in others. So you want them thin, wide and thin. And the cellophane discs help keep them sticking together both now and, well, if the mince has already been frozen, you can't freeze them. If the mince hasn't been frozen, then you can freeze them. And I like to reposition the cellophane a little bit so it's nice and even. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit of OCD that way. So, <laughs> yeah, as I say, if there's not, um, if the mince has been frozen, you can't make them and then freeze them. You could cook them and then freeze them all. 
uh, or it's better to use fresh mints, then you can happily freeze them without any fear of screwing up any cooking guidelines. Uh, I am not an authority. If you give yourself food poisoning after watching my shit, it's not my fault. There's my disclaimer, okay? <laughs> but if you do it with fresh mints, then you can freeze them or cook them and then freeze them. And then you've got a weekend breakfast treat and I'm sure going to show you what we do with them after another song. Meantime, who's watching? Quite a lot of people. Hello, hello, hello. Bill Mullen, you're oh, I'm away, I'm away behind the times here in my Alistair Cunningham. Yeah, sorry, the echo should be, uh, the e echo should be going. You've tried booking, Re Bob. If you just go to my Facebook page or Eventbrite, follow the links. Problems, Melanie. So I, I shall look through all this. If you've got problems with it, hit me up and I'll have a wee look. Hello, Thomas. Scott Dickinson is uh, saying McDonald's always good until you finish eating. Yeah, that's the problem. And then you're still hungry. Stephen Flanagan's still watching. <laughs> and Tanya's watching from Finland. But Tanya, I've no idea what you're saying because I can't speak Finnish. I know I should be able to speak Finnish the amount of times we've been across here. But uh, I will say Kipis and Kitos. Folk are disappointed you've not screwed up too much this week. Oh, there's plenty of fucking time for that. The cluster fuck awaits. <laughs> I actually have screwed up quite a lot. It's just that you maybe haven't noticed. <laughs> and this microphone, it's going up the back of my sleeve and out here and right here. And I'm, I should but actually probably take it off because I'm not using it. Anyway, forget the microphone. This is a song, if you've been to many of my live gigs, you will know this song because I think I play it every live gig. It's a song I wrote a few years ago called Devil's Left Hand. And uh, it had the dubious, um, I don't know what, what you would call it, pleasure, you know, privilege, of having its debut when I played a show with Steve Earle. Of course, he's got a big fancy ass tune called Devil's Right Hand. Anyway, I live to tell the tale. I'm not going to tell you anymore because you can listen to the live album which tells you the story or you can have a whiskey with me and I'll tell you the real story. Last night I met an old friend Shook him by the hand Something strange was happening Cause he gave me his left hand When I shook his hand so good, but on this little finger, a broken bottle stood. The devil's left hand reached across the sticks. Yeah, I drank all this whiskey and learned some of his tricks. Oh, yeah! He went into the hallway, dark and dingy place. because this is all about the devil's left hand and not the devil's right hand. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm attached. Anyway, where are we? Where are we? I'm going to put that stuff down. Now, 
Who's watching? Who's cooking? Bill Keane, thank you for the applause, Bill. Oh, hello again, Terrier. <laughs> Bob's the clusterfucks. The dogs will go mad. Did, did, did the dogs like the dogs? The Hovis and Steps like Devil's Left Hand, Melanie. I hope. You're not on the mailing list, Bob. I don't know if you are on the mailing list. I need to check that out. But that's. Uh, if anybody's got problems with buying stuff or joining the mailing list or uh, getting hold of booking a space at the Zoom concerts, uh, send me a message and. Oh, I think we're echoing again. No, we're not echoing again. Ah. That's strange. I have no, I have no idea why we were echoing in some of them and not others. I'm sure Margaret would have told me by now or some one of you would have told me. Uh, hi, Steve. More egg bites. <laughs> they loved it. Thanks, Melanie. Hello, Bill Keane. Right, here we go. I should stop getting distracted by all your lovely comments, but it is lovely to see and hear you. So, now, these patties. What do we do with the patties for the weekend treat breakfast? Well, I'll tell you, we have breakfast sandwiches. I like mine in a bagel. Margaret likes muffins. And this microwave egg poacher cooker is amazing. Just a wee spray of oil and an egg in each of the cups. Whoa. And into the microwave for three minutes. Simple as that. Now three minutes. Come on, get the time right. Not four, three. Down, 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 down. Clickety click, click. Three minutes. There we go. Counting down. And our toaster has got a bagel function, which means that you can toast the stuff just on the inside, which I really like. That's pretty good. And then, as you'll hear, the patties go in the frying pan. And once the bagel and muffins are toasted, uh, the egg's done, and you've got some cheese slices to hand. Now, I know they're not the best health-wise, but processed cheese slices are another secret to the taste. Absolutely vital. Then put the patties on. Then the eggs go on. Now I like some extra cheese in my bagel. Because the bagel needs some extra cheese. And there the assembly job is complete. Breakfast is ready. Wonderful. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a wee message, message here saying sorry, sorry but we're, we're having, having trouble, trouble playing something, something but it, but it, it looks, looks like it's, uh, it looks it like, like it's working, working okay, okay, apart from the echo. The echo. <laughs> we're back on the echo. So I'm hoping that you're still, you're still seeing stuff. I've got a wee message here saying, um, <laughs> processed cheese, Bill, processed cheese. That's the secret. So anyway, that is the breakfast patties and the muffins and two different kinds of egg bites. Uh, Margaret's saying, is there echo still? No, there shouldn't be echo now, Margaret. Oh, yeah. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, I was talking a load of doubling, doubling, doubling stuff. Echo, 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 echo. Anyway, that is the breakfast sandwiches, the egg bites, the McDonald's style, but much healthier alternative, breakfast patties. So remember, check my website at www.davercarry.com for info on the Zoom concerts and the mailing list. And the shop, because you can get the snoods and everything on there. And remember, if you have any problems with trying to get anything booked or bought or joining in, just drop me a message on Facebook and uh, we'll get it all sorted out. The technology sometimes fails me because I have to do all this shit myself. And ha most of the time, I have no idea what I am doing. Meantime, <laughs> Margaret's laughing through there, but it's not, it's, it's not fair. Now, now, now she's, she's over at the door there going... <clears throat> but well, she's not spitting like I am. So just as well you're not here in person. It's cameras don't really my goo. <laughs> anyway, meantime, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and see you all next week for some more culinary shenanigans and live tunes. Same place, same time. 
Look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>